beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed it is it is part of our human nature please listen carefully it is part of our human nature to desire the best in life to desire the best of everything you know we have all kinds of teachings and many of those teachings have come from this platform where we challenge mediocrity where we challenge an average life we spur people among other things into excellence that they excel in every area of their lives and so if at any point we see that you are underutilizing your potentials and you're not becoming all that god desires we challenge you to strive higher to rise higher um, and especially in our context of civilization there is this craving for more craving for more somehow we always believe that there is more is that not true no matter how great we accomplish things whether academically maritally spiritually something in us tells us there is more for instance thank god for the way he's honored the ministry thank god for the testimonies and the wonderful things he's doing within this region and around the nation and beyond the opportunity he's given us to contribute our quota towards kingdom advancement and uh, giving people an opportunity for encounters and transformation but then we know that there is more is that not so that as great as what we have seen is is only the beginning of greater yes we even sing songs like we're on our way to better days and so on and so forth but then um that kind of lifestyle also has a side effect and that's what i want to deal with very briefly um, if we are not careful and we do not check balance it we can get to a point in our lives where perpetually there is a craving for more more money more reputation more prestige more anointing more grace more children for some more wives you know we want more more of everything even in our world today if you come up with a product after one year people want more is that not true you have to catch up with the pace there seems to be a desire every year we produce new cars so if you come up with a, a brand this year in just 12 months people communicate their tiredness and they want the latest we call it in our generation the latest the latest of everything when you meet people you tell them what's the latest what's the latest fashion um, that is very important except for the fact that it can have a side effect and the side effect is that in an attempt to pursue more we many times fail to calm down and begin to take inventory of what God had done so far you see when you desire more 
that hunger in you can push you to a point where you cannot even see what is do, what is happening at the current level because you are hoping for more are we together now so you are trusting god for a house of your own a three or four or five bedroom flat and sometimes you can so desire it that you may not even see a need to calm down and say but come to think of it at least i have a house i have somewhere to lay my head you can drive and you are trusting god you know for a master's degree a phd and all of that and sometimes you can forget to say ah at least i have the opportunity to be sponsored by someone to go to school are we together now and so the psalmist in an attempt to help us maximize the workings of god in our lives creates a pause and says oh give thanks to the lord he said for he is good and his mercy endures forever the revelation of the goodness of god and the fact that even in our mistakes even in our setbacks the mercy of god has the capacity to cover he said give him thanks for it because the bible says it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed when a ministry like this starts and after a few years it is still standing and making impact is because of the goodness and the mercy of god are we together now when a lady gets married and in nine months she can celebrate a child her brother came and gave a testimony at the beginning of the year the loved ones were trusting god for a miracle after 10 years and just submitting a prayer request about nine months thereabout they return with a testimony of twins now it's easy to enjoy that and the man say look prepare for another one we have to cover grounds 10 years is not a joke praise the lord sometimes we are caught up in i call it a sin the sin of ingratitude the inability to pause through our various activities and reflect on the faithfulness and the mercy of god i'm a very creative thinker i think very very intricately i think in between the lines and it has helped me as a person to periodically take inventory of my life and while i began to seek god for this miracle service there was one word that came from the lord and he said tell my people to take out time and thank me and communicate gratitude for what i have done for them so far it may not look like much compared to what you want but brothers and sisters every one of us is here tonight because we are alive if a dead body was seated close to you it's only because you are alive that you can trust god for a life partner it's only because you are alive that you can even trust god to heal you of cancer are we together we can fall into that trap of forgetting the faithfulness of God. Lord, you did this for me today. Can't you do more? And we keep pushing at God and using every spiritual principle to tie down his hand. Lord, I gave my tithe. You should increase me. Lord, I did this. I sowed a seed for a husband. What is happening? I call him wherever he is from the realm of the spirit. Up here now, I must marry. And so on and so forth. And then we don't take out time to say, but Lord, I'm grateful. If you never do anything for me again, you don't owe me anything. I owe you thanks for the rest of my life. You passed a road where you saw them bringing out pieces of dead bodies. And at the point you passed the road, you were insulting somebody. Yet the mercy of God kept you. You would have been a cheap victim for the devil. It was never about our righteousness and holiness. Are we together now? You can get up in the morning and say, I'm going to do this and that. That is only a factor when you are alive. Listen, let me tell you something. God is so wise. He created life and made himself the ultimate custodian of life. If life were given to the hand of man to give another person, you would see the wickedness of men at its apex. And so God subjected every man, no matter how stubborn, 
to the law of life and death. So that no man will claim in his heart that there is no God. It was Pharaoh that got up and made a lot of noise and bragging about the nation of Israel. And in one night, God brought him to his knees. Listen, brothers and sisters, there are unseen battles that God has fought for us. Are we together? While we sleep, we just wake up in the morning and move around. He never gets to reveal to us the way that he has fought all kinds of battles for us. There are many of us by the plan of Satan. You are not supposed to see this month. It is a shock to the devil that you are still alive. Because according to the plan, everything should happen. And based on what Satan saw, there was nothing that would stop it. But they forgot about a factor called the mercy of God. At the point where hell had concluded, like it happened to Job in the heavens, that today, make sure this person does not return back. You return back and you were enjoying yourself and never thought to give him thanks. You know, people send me all kinds of text messages. Oh, apostle, you are this, you are that. Look at the mighty things God is doing. When I read those text messages, I just nod my head. I say, don't be mistaken. Don't let this body fool you. I'm a product of God's mercy. He trained me well enough to understand that if there is ever any reason for men to celebrate anything in my life is because of his mercy. I'm not embarrassed about it. I have mastered the art of taking advantage of the mercy and the goodness of God. Are we together now? Oh God, you can do this for me. Oh God, you can do this. We are a generation of complainers and grumblers. And our civilization has wired us that way. There is always a lust for more. Lord, you gave me a husband, but we are staying in a one-bedroom flat. And the Lord is saying, remember, the same person who was saying, oh God, if you give me a husband, I will be grateful. Now you have a husband. Then he gives you two-bedroom flat and you say, Lord, we need another place where there are no neighbors. I'm, I'm allergic to noise. It's amazing. Listen, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, don't turn there. When you begin to read from verse 14 down to 18, the Bible says, let it not be. That when you have built houses, when your crops are increased and etc, etc. He said that you tell yourself, my power and the might of my hand has given me this wealth. He said, but thou shalt remember. Meaning it is in our human nature to forget. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. How can I forget? How can I forget, Lord? Your benefit, we will never forget. We will not forget, Lord. Your benefit, I will never forget. I will not forget, Lord. Your benefit. One of the greatest secrets of my life is not just prayer and fasting, it's not just the word. But I learned this from my father. It's one of the most priceless lessons I've learned from him. My father is a grateful man. I have never met a man in my life as grateful as my father. And I checked the psalmist and I found out that what that was the key. The Bible called him a man after God's heart. The psalmist knew how to touch God in an area where he would have to respond to him gratitude the ability to pause in the busyness of life in the busyness of wanting to be successful and say lord i acknowledge you you are the faithful one and then to begin to remember the days when you were nothing and to remember how he took you there are people for instance who have graduated now remember how many times you had to write jam and write it again and how many people looked at you at that point in your life and vowed that you would not become anything and you had no right to explain to them because the truth is you were a victim of what they were saying yet in a mystery you cannot explain the hand of the lord took you and brought you to a position where today you can stand and rejoice and say i've written my last exam how about many of us who are arguing and insulting around for promotion 
and we forget how that we kept running from pillar to post and by his majesty you were not praying you were not fasting you were not even expecting it god just opened a door and wiped the tears of our family our generation is a very ungrateful generation it is always easy to pick up the things that god has done and say yes lord but it's small do something major for me so that when i testify i will give you thanks and god is saying if you cannot thank me for my finger you will not see my hand and if you cannot recognize my hand you will not see all of me gratitude the ability to say lord i thank you there is a, listen 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 when you thank god you not only thank god because things are nice when you thank god because things are nice you are carnal you are sensory you are thanking god because of your sensory perception the bible says give thanks in all things for this is the will of god the will of god is that no situation in your life can stand your thanksgiving and your gratitude to god oh i remember i remember where he brought me from how could i forget there is no level of the accolades of men that will make me ever forget where god brought me from I look around and I see my colleagues and contemporaries and I look at many people and I see how much by his faithfulness he has granted me the privilege to go ahead to do so many things I talk to pastors and leaders and I see their frustration over ministry how they struggle they 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 try to get their messages free of charge for people but nothing works and yet we see the glory and the grace of God it's a reason to thank him it's a reason to thank him there was a time in my life i was diagnosed i've shared it with us fungal infection right there was no hospital i did not go to they checked around checked around did everything it was obvious my head was literally becoming rotten literally becoming rotten they banned me from going to the dining hall because they said I was irritating other students. And so I would stay behind. And when the students were about to go, I would beg somebody with a plate to please help me collect food. And sometimes in a bid to get their own, they forget my own. The mercy of God. The faithfulness of God. I walk around and I see people who are old enough to be my parents. Old enough to be... Um, 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 elderly people and they see me and you say good afternoon sir and i'm like ah please don't embarrass me don't embarrass me listen one of the keys to getting the hand of god upon your life and frustrating the counsel of satan is the recognition of everything god does gratitude is the key for more in the spirit you never are qualified to see more of God until you thank him generously Lord I'm collecting 100,000 are you not faithful can I not collect 200,000 and God is saying you go outside and stand in the street and watch people who will jump at 100 naira they will jump at 100 naira with gratitude with tears in their eyes they will come upon the altar and testify because somebody gave them a seed of 100 naira, and here you are holding 100,000 and saying Lord I thank you but you can do something more I choose to be a grateful person I choose to recognize his faithfulness at all times that you thank God you weary Satan when you thank God because see let me tell you something satan understands the principle of increase in the spirit that when a man can settle with god and thank god most of our prayers the thanksgiving we give before our prayers are only preambles to give us room so that we now start petitioning god so we come to god like this father thank you thank you i'm grateful what we're trying to do is oh god you directed us to come before you with thanksgiving i'm doing it be watching now you finish it quickly and say god let's settle down now this is what i have there are men who have walked this earth 
and they have mastered the art of holding the hands of God. Thanksgiving is like a magnet. Gratitude is like a magnet. God cannot resist gratitude. Sincere gratitude. Especially when what you are thanking God for is really not something that humanly speaking should warrant thanksgiving. There are people who pay attention to every detail. Every detail. Oh God did this. Lord I recognize it. Every time I do this specifically for miracle services. The moment I am done with miracle services I return back. The moment I get home one of the few things that I do either immediately or later is to go down on my knees and I'll just hold the chair and say Lord I thank you for proving yourself I've seen men of God come on stage and say the power of God is going to move 30 minutes later they are still speaking stories don't worry did you people fast today the power of God is going to move just take it easy and all kinds of things yet he has honored us with his presence brothers and sisters as a family of faith we have reason to thank God there are churches that love God but they have been victims of bomb blast never for once we transport people every week from here to congo to shika around and we've not had any issue of a car capsiding and all kinds of things we've had people here escape the hands of armed robbers is god speaking to us i know you came with prayer requests i came with mine too i know that you came with sincere needs but brothers and sisters we are going to take a few minutes and thank his majesty for many of you just that thanksgiving will be the key to releasing your miracle that the heavens will never open you have not thanked god for what he did you are not married but at least you are in a relationship a godly relationship with a brother whose head is correct and he loves god that's a great blessing listen never trivialize anything in your life that god has done it will destroy you and it will keep you at that level if nine things go wrong in your life look for the one thing that is right and say father i give you thanks the truth is there are nine things that are wrong in my life but for this one is undeniable i have seen your hand and god says you can thank me i see that you were bereaved you lost somebody in your house yet you are thanking god that it was not your whole family members that died and god will say such faith such faith see brothers and sisters when you see certain people stumble into repeated cycles of breakthrough there is something they have done it didn't just happen are we together when you see god focus on certain people and arise like a mighty warrior and visit them is because they have done something that has touched him it's more than sowing a seed it's more than money it's even more than praising and dancing praising and dancing are only expressions gratitude is from the heart you use praise dance your seed and etc as an expression is god speaking to us I have learned the danger of refusing to thank God. When God gives you a thing and you do not thank him, that thing starts diminishing in your life. I don't care what it is. Whatever you do not thank God for will start diminishing mysteriously from your life because it means that you do not qualify to have it. I will not forget Lord your faithfulness how can i forget lord hallelujah i remember we meet we meet once in a year as a family everybody comes from everywhere and we sit down on the first of january to just thank god for what he had done in the family and to speak into the year and every time all my father does for for more than 30 minutes we're going to thank god when it's his session to lead prayers we know that we're ready to sit there because he's going to mention everything 
and then he will pass the button to my mother and she will pick it up from there and you know women lord i thank you my son came all the way from zaria he even said he went to abuja the other time he went to this are you not faithful this, this is how my mother prays oh lord the other day was he not here in this house you did a miracle for us we thank you and all of us are quietly while growing up we did not understand we felt it was boredom you know these elderly people you are thanking god thanking god go straight to the point lord we thank you do this for us amen but the more you advance in life you will understand this ancient wisdom of parents that they spend time saying thank you like fools and while we young people are feeling bored they are saying it's because you've not they've gone through things in life that can eat them up and they have mastered the art of thanking god for everything it's one of the unbeatable secrets of longevity that you get up in the morning and say lord i thank you statistic tells us that eight people die per second eight people including christians including pastors there's a gentleman that sent me a text i don't know if his brother is in this place he will be coming out of prison in december i shared it with the leaders and he'll be coming here to testify he was a ruffian and a hooligan and his lifestyle got him into prison and he's been there i think for the past three years it was while he was in the prison he remembered that his younger brother or thereabout used to listen to my message and then he was able to get some of the messages they allowed him to have some of the messages he got born again he got serious with god he's even one of the people in the chapel the prison chapel and he said his time will be due by december and i don't know how he was able to get access to the phone to send text he said thank god for bringing me to this prison because it was that i used to hear my brother listen to koinonia messages and i would scorn him but in this place i found god when last did you thank god for all the mountains and the challenges in your life that have made you wiser and stronger and better and matured and a better leader when last did you thank god for all the gates you had to confront when you are a man of gratitude you frustrate satan because there is no way he can come. The goal of Satan's attack upon people is to bring them to a point where the faithfulness of God is questioned in their lives and through them to God. So people say, God, where are you? But when you get to a point where you say, Lord, let me tell you in advance, if nothing in my life ever moves forward, I cannot stop thanking you. When Satan hears that is a nightmare, because you have worried him you go to the hospital they check you and they say the bp is still there oh the bp in fact is even worse than it was the last time you say no problem lord i thank you because i'm alive i know that you gave me a word your bible your word says by your stripes i am healed you tested yourself ss or as and they say the marriage cannot hold and you go and check it again and you come out and you sing before god and you thank him Do not get into this lifestyle that many people live. I hate complainers. It irritates me. I, I, I cannot, I cannot, I honestly cannot stand it. When I stand around people who are naggy and complaining five minutes, they are talking about something, somebody, somewhere. I run away from those people because they have the ability to destroy my progress. They are not bad people, but they are violating a spiritual law for advancement and i intend to move forward so god helps you he gave you 10 naira to buy a tie and you leave the tie before god and say lord this is your faithfulness i never imagined i would get a shirt now you have added a tie for me he adds a tie clip and you say lord i just noticed that you added a tie clip and god said what sort of person are you you mean you are doing this to me let him have a greater supply and he gives you a shoe and he said lord who am i who am i i asked you for a palm sandals and you gave me a shoe i'm grateful and while you are saying that people will look at you and say you are thanking god for a tie and a palm sandals are you stupid what about the admission what about the job how long will you marry 
Or will you stay before you get married? You are 37, are you aware? You say, I'm aware of that. Keep that one aside. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the fact that I started a small shop and people are coming to eat. I know that my desire is that I will have a restaurant in the future. But for this small shop, two people came today and ate. As a pastor, you are crying and asking God for members. And seven people come. And you don't just yell your anger on all of them and shout at them. But you say, Lord, I thank you. Because these people who are coming are not yet members. These are my leaders. And so I will train them and I will be serious. My faithfulness with seven people will bring a crowd. I remember our first crusade. We were very few. A handful of people. God did great things, but we were very few. But I remember thanking the Lord for it. We could not even afford a video camera. But we thank God for it. Do you realize that for some of you, this is the word of the Lord to you tonight. You have allowed ingratitude. Listen, God knows we are humans. Brothers and sisters, I taught us last week. It is true that the vicissitudes of life have a way of pushing a man to a point where you are so overwhelmed. I know, I know that you need to pay the school fees of your children. I know that nobody sponsors you. I know that you have HIV and the antiretroviral drugs are beginning to fail. I know that the infirmity has remained here. I know that the devil has attacked your family. There are families here that have come from different places. They have come literally as whole families to come and cry before God. I understand. I will be a fool to deny the presence of that. We are humans. It's okay to be human. I taught us last week. It's okay to cry. It's okay to express your pain. But remember. Remember the things that he has done in your life. Not the things he has not done. If there is one testimony in your life. It's a sign that more are coming. If God gave you one testimony. Remember David. When he killed the lion and killed the bear. When he stood before Goliath, he went to the archives of his testimonies and said, the God who gave me the lion, the God who gave me the bear, that same God will deliver me. That's how to confront challenges in life. You look at your body and they tell you you have fibroid or ovarian cyst and it's increasing. Yes, you are, you are going through pains and you are bleeding. But you say, I remember. There was a time I used to have a wound that would not heal. And the power of God healed it. The God who healed that will do the same for me. Please, I'm teaching you how to frustrate Satan. Don't let the devil have a toll on you. Don't let the devil mark you for ingratitude. When the devil marks you for ingratitude, he will keep orchestrating events in your life that will keep you angry, complaining. Do you know how many people die of high blood pressure and hypertension? And all of those things are caused by frustration. That you give God thanks. God gives you a job. While you are rejoicing, they suddenly call you and say, sorry, something has happened. Um, we may not be able to take the people again. And you've gone to testify in the house of God. And you turn back and say, Lord, you are faithful. I give you praise. Pastor Jakes always says he's a faithful God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Your situation, irrespective, he is good. Everybody say, God is good. Say it, God is good. Look your challenges to the face and say, God is good. Say, my God is good. Yes, my God is good. My God is good. I don't know about yours, but my God is a good God. My God is a good God. I'll never forget one time when a car hit me many years ago. I ran to go and buy, was it Gary or Chinchin or something? And 10 naira was about to take my life. I think it was Gary or something. I wanted to hurriedly soak it and help myself. In a bit to cross back. The devil just orchestrated it. Because he knew that there are millions of lives that must be changed. And blessed. 
and he just came and the car it was i was i was in the middle of the road i didn't know what to do all i had was there was sound of a break and there was it was as if i was dreaming i just saw myself at the other side of the car and i had people shouting hold him hold him they said if they don't hold me i'll stand up and i'll be mad i just looked at them i looked at my garage i picked it i told them i said give me yes i said i'm fine i'm fine i'm okay that night my leg there was it it swelled up for days there was intense pain but god is my witness i said i have met death and i overcame that's why i don't fear death i've gone through too many things in my life i've slept on speaker i've slept on amplifier I've, I've, come on now Muimaka sujada muimaka 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 sujada muimaka muimaka ninaimaka sujada Lord I give you I give you I give you the highest praise I give you I give you I give you the highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. Very soon I'm going to give us room. About 10 minutes. And it's going to be exclusive expressions of gratitude. It's going to be you alone. I know you came for a miracle service. But father, mother, brother, sister, you're going to forget about whoever you came with. I don't know how you are going to express it, but I'll give us room shortly. You are going to begin to count your blessings and say, my God, was it not just last month I had an accident? I never gave you thanks for it. Lord, I'm, I'm grateful. I started small, but see what you have made out of my life. Lord, we started from two members and now we are 35. I thank you. I thank you. When a situation overwhelmed me, I did not know that morning will come, yet you have kept me. That it has become 20 years. I remember when they said I had a heart disease, for instance. Oh Lord, see what you have done in my life. They said people die in our village. They don't get to 20. Now I am 60 years. I give you thanks. Expressions of gratitude. We forget many times. We forget. We are asking God for more. Lord, do more for me. But you are alive. But you are healthy. You go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs. Hanging their legs for six months. And you hear them singing praises. Day and night with their legs hanging. If you can be grateful, not just tonight, if you make it a lifestyle i guarantee you there is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper you will you will you will thank your way to the throne you will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne it's an unbeatable secret of greatness i thank god all the time i thank people all the time gratitude a simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man. Hallelujah. Every, everywhere that I go, everything that I do, I'll hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my testimony. I'll hear him sana I'll hear him go by Gajina Abba Mama Kine Yesu Ya Pada Help me some Everything that I do 
alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes that you have won only you alone are worthy lord we magnify your name thank you jesus protector redeemer provider defender announcer lifter sustainer we thank you we thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people we thank you for the miracles we thank you for signs for wonders for food for shelter we thank you for your faithfulness for exalting our hands like the horn of the unicorn we thank you for miracle jobs we thank you we thank you we thank you thank you for our families oh god you have been good oh god you have been good Three more minutes. Give him thanks. Three more minutes. us to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed 
where lives can be transformed. Go ahead and thank Him. Lord, we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful people. We are not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement. We are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer, defender, protector, our hope, our anchor. We have no other God. We have no other place. You alone, O oh God, deserve the glory. unprecedented levels of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside say faithful God For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of our praise We magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery I've seen this thing many times in the Bible I want you to read it one to read stop just the A part one more time It says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud. Until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress. Crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation. That Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options. And you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. If you don't give me a husband, I cannot get one. If you don't give me a job, there is no job for me. Crying to the Lord is more than just saying, Oh God, help me. Blind Bartimaeus cried. And this was his cry. 
thou son of David or not thou miracle worker I know you I know your power will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this I'm blind but I've heard about you that you are the God who can wipe the tears of people I've heard about you that you are the one who makes the barren to sing I've heard about you that you are the one who raised Job back I've heard about you it says they cried unto the Lord whenever you are in trouble stop discussing the key is to cry unto God we have prayer requests here many of us are standing trusting God to touch us the key tonight is to cry unto God and the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses verse 28 28 very quickly one more time let's read one to read again then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and what did he do he bring them out of their distresses next verse he make it the storm a calm so that the waves thereof the waves that are killing you that looks like you will not survive he says God has the ability there is something he can tell that trouble it must hear his voice next verse he says then as a result they are glad because they be quiet so he bring them where unto their desired heaven listen God knows your intentions God knows your desire he has the ability to bring you to where your desired heaven but the key after gratitude you are authorized to cry to cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment when you cry you are saying oh God let your goodness and your mercy speak at this point it's not because of what I have done at this point is if it is with my intellect if it's with my money if it's with my connection I have failed I cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before I minister we are going to cry to God listen I told you crying to God is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say Lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me I know this and tonight I cry to you. The Bible says he can calm the storm. He can calm the storm. Oh yes, he can. Lift your voice and cry to your maker. Thou son of David, let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight. Pray. Lord, there is nothing new about my situation. You have done it before. The Bible is full of records of your faithfulness. How you parted the Red Sea before people. How overnight you turned the captivity of men and women. Pray, Lord, I don't know how you will do it, but I know you can do it. They cried unto the Lord in their trouble. He said, call upon me in the day of trouble. Cry to the Lord my rent has expired i'm not working i have no idea but i cry to you i have multiple carryovers i don't know what will happen to me but i cry to you thou oh god the lifter up of my head the one who is able to change my story i've not come to an idol it is within your power to help me oh thou Ebenezer arise for me you are my Ebenezer the helper of man God can help you listen to me God can help you God can help you they cried unto the Lord in their distress Cry unto the Lord and watch what he will do in your life. Don't give him options. 
Don't give him options. Lord, you are my only source. I cry to you. Pray. My only hope of entering into my desired heaven. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of our God. Lord, step in to the impossible. Do the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. Lord, step in to the impossible. Do the impossible. Come on, let your faith rise tonight. Lord, step in to the impossible. Lord, step in, Lord, step in to the impossible. To the one more time, Lord, step in, Lord, step in. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing a lady right now. Please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue. I'm seeing a lady. You came here with severe pain on your neck. Check it now. Check it now. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is touching you. I'm seeing an elderly man in this place. Um, you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region. The Lord has just touched that man right now. He's an elderly man. I don't know where that person is. Please testify. Check yourself. And immediately you find out you are healed. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. God is touching people right now. I don't know who I'm seeing an ear. God is touching someone's ear. It's like, I don't know if it's an ear issue. But God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. Please check yourself. And make your way right now. Right now, let's just have two or three of those people. God is touching it right now. Right now. Doing a miracle for somebody. Um, I'm seeing somebody that has... I don't know if it's... Um, I don't know what to call it, but... It's like a serious stomach issue. It comes and hooks you. Literally, you are gasping for breath when that happens to you. It's like it literally holds you. Check yourself now. You will find out that the Lord has touched you. Make your way to the front very quickly. You can make your way right here. Miracles are happening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. God is touching people right now. Can you give Jesus praise? God is touching people. God is touching people right now. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. You see like a black object. It comes and goes. It's like a, it's, it looks like a needle. Like a black object. You'll be looking at people and then you will see it. This has happened for a while. But God has touched you right now. Who is that person? Make your way to the front. Right now. I'm seeing someone's left leg outside. In the overflow. There is someone with a left leg issue. Left leg. It's like you came towards the, 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 um, this area where I'm holding i'm seeing the power of god touch that area check it right now check it right now and confirm your healing and make your way to the front check it right now confirm your healing make your way to the front hallelujah have they checked themselves sir? you've checked yourself okay so quickly we'll just take two or three you can turn please come up come up let them come up when you come you can stand please come up man come up sir go ahead just tell us quickly straight to the point 
Praise the Lord. Uh, I have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes. Okay. And I'm feeling better by completely. Right Give now. Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Please let's celebrate Jesus. Celebrate what he's doing. Yes. Yes, for some years I have been experiencing pain here. Pain at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region. Abdominal yes. yes, you know, I gave now, a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody in lower abdominal region. Better. And how, how about better. now? Exactly, it's better. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we declare that it is perfected. Wow, the power of God is coming on you. It's perfected right now. Never to return to you. In the name of Jesus. Please check it, sir. Check it, check it right now. Check it. It's Check getting it. better. Yes. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling you better. will be perfected in the name of Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. For the past two weeks now, I've been having ear pain. Ear it's pain. A, it's an attack. Okay. I have cold. I have cataract. So this thing blocked my ear. I don't used to hear very well. So now I'm I'm okay. Completely. Yes. Madam, what? The Lord is bringing increase for you. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing a serious attack. Your money has gone down. Yes. Because this, this, I'm seeing this has to do with. I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be yes, before again. Yes, is that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want to thank God because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain? Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain, how long? It's like, it's for months. It comes and goes. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear, it affects my ear, but... When you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone. Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater and I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Is your family here? Is the time for the visitation? Where is our family? Please come. There is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now. I see that family. Please, where is our daddy and our mommy? Please appreciate them as they come. Enough of the nonsense of darkness. Please celebrate them as they come. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Sir, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now, but I'm seeing one of those people have dreams 
that's their daughter you see the power of god touching her she's their daughter she's the person with this case i'm mentioning i'm seeing dreams and it's like people pursuing the person this thing started right from your family and this is already following this lady because i'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach it's starting now as pain i i remove that fibroid right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the holy spirit i'm seeing this woman crying before god in prayer this is what i'm seeing this woman has been a defense i'm seeing her crying before god and say lord will you not wipe our tears in this family but tonight we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere But every time they want to indicate helping you, something just comes and nobody is willing to help you. Because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a body, but I'm not seeing a face. This thing has covered your glory. Whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you. And for some reason, they, uh, they don't help again. Hallelujah. Who is Adamu? I'm hearing a name, Adamu. Adamu, I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu. Adamu, please help, help those on Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu. Adamu. Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu. Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. Yes. Your father, right? Where is he? Adam, Nazareth State. In Nazareth State. Yes, sir. Because this enchantment that is done against your family enough is enough it's part of your prayer request right yes, number five six uh, number two and three yes, sir. number two and three prayer requests yes, sir. look at it there yes, that's sir. it number two and number three that's what you wrote Lord read it read it miracle in your family yes, sir. that's what i'm reading what you are writing and god is giving a miracle yes, a big miracle to adamu miracles everywhere I see miracles everywhere Right now Right now Right now Right now I see miracles everywhere Lord, miracles everywhere We see miracles Miracles everywhere Right now Right now The Spirit of God is ministering to me I'm seeing the anointing of the Spirit I'm looking at a map and I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people. From Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people. From Yola. It will come like a tornado upon you. It's a miracle that God is doing right there. There is a lady's elder sister who has been barren. I'm seeing the number three, three years. Barren, barren, help them. That lady is from Yolan. She's an usher, she's walking. But the spirit of God, I'm seeing is a wicked demon. This is what I'm seeing. That has been oppressing her family. I don't know if she's from Yola or not. But I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle. Sir. I'm going to pray for you mommy I will minister to you madam the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over the crying is over right now as I speak the power of God is coming on you the Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over right now the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head pouring it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit Pouring what looks like vials of oil. Now I curse this spirit. I address you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let this family go now. 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 This curse that has tied down the family. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. 
He said, for I will contend with them that contend with you. Right now, the power of God is touching people. I see deliverance, 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 fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Let's just interrupt this. Deliverance, fire, right now. It will start touching people at the count of three. Father, the angels of God, there are many angels in this place bringing deliverance for families. At the count of three, let that fire come right now. One, two, three, receive it. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Makaparatata. Sheketetete. Bring them out. Lekete pratata. Deliverance for families. Outside. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord go outside. Outside. The power of God is moving. It's like fire coming on families. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Father, where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer? That from the village. Now, I'm not one who just talks so much about village. But this one is from the village. I see an attack at the count of three. One, two, three. From the village. Those arrows back to sender. Shakatata. Leketata. Reketatata. From the village, I see enchantments. From the village, I see altars. I see covens. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. They are calling your names. From the village, from the village, enchantments, witchcraft, death, outside, outside, fire is falling. What fire is falling? Fire is falling from the village, speakings of death, enchantments of death. Yahweh 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 The name above all names Yahweh We call Yahweh. you Yahweh I'm ready to pray for you now i didn't just leave you i need to pray for you my god there is massive deliverance going on in this place my dear lift your hands where you are an angel of the lord is touching you right now right now mama an angel of the lord is touching you he's doing something in your husband's life your husband's life there is a miracle that is happening Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come, this woman, this woman wearing pink. No, 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 I mean, that one, the one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. Your time for a serious visitation has come. Let's stretch our hands towards daddy. Bring her, be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Go.
Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I announce a new season. I announce a new season. Mommy, the spell is broken. Broken, 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season. You will go back and experience dramatic turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning. Unusual sources of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Madam, I want to pray for you. Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here. I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl? A lady? A girl, yes. A lady, where is she? Please call her name, let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family, right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, sir. that God yes. will visit your family. Yes, sir. And tonight, God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something i'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like i don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady i curse that devil i curse you back to hell back to hell from where you came from hallelujah mommy please stand up let me pray for you man you can stand up please I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that... The tears have come to an end. It's wiping your tears. Father, thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you. In this season, he's doing new things. He will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined. He will do this for his glory. The spell of bad luck over your life is broken. Bad luck. There's something about your life that makes people hate you. It's a spirit. And there are people here. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm praying for you. Whatever makes people hate you for no reason, I want you to know that it's not normal. You will see what will happen right now. There are people here. I know that people have those kinds of things. But there are people with those things. It's like an aura on you. As I was ministering to her, the Lord said, minister to the house. Father, where are they? Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the anointing locate them. Inside and outside. That spell of bad luck. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Justina, the Lord is bringing miracles to your family. Miracles to your family. I'm seeing a lady from, is it Oka? Oka, that should be East. I'm, I'm, Oka, is there anyone from like that? I'm seeing a lady. Our minister generally will pray for the sick now, but I just want to flow. Oka, Oka, is there someone like that? Please, if you are like that, you can make your way to the front. The Lord wants me to pray for that family. My dear, you with a white hair tie. That lady, you turning back, lift your hands where you are. 
I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but God is destroying an embargo over your life and family. Lord Jesus, I destroy it right now. In the name of Jesus, where you are standing, I destroy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are from there? You are from Oka? Where is that? Anambra State. Anambra State? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You're also from there? Huh? Make your way to the front. You are from there too. Three of you. Look at me. You cannot be a victim, you and your sisters, of the wickedness of people in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold my hands. Father, it must end. This must end. It must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is, this is, I'm seeing enchantment. This is, this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life. You and your sisters, I pray for you. Father, you are going to visit them in this season. You are going to visit them in this season. In the name of Jesus. I want to minister to you. You are from there, too. Come stand. The Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people. As I lay my hands and minister to you, I want you to know that everything that does not represent God, uh, and everyone pursuing you in your dream and disturbing you, it must end in the name of Jesus Christ. For you, there is, there is, I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head. We must remove it because it's not God that put that crown. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. Take it off of her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. We are going to pray for you. Tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her. Then a breakthrough. Deliverance first, then breakthrough. For the deliverance, she will see it in a dream. It's like something will be chasing her to catch her and she will see somebody who will snatch her out. It's a dream connoting deliverance. Father, visit this family. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. You're a student here? Huh? Yes. We must pray for you. So that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish. Huh? In your family, we must stop it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glorify yourself, O oh God. I curse this spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Before I begin to minister to the sick, God is bringing deliverance to families right now. We are going to shout Jesus at the count of three. This is not just to you, but God is stepping into families. Some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things. Devils. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you shout Jesus at the top of your voice. And the power of God will move mightily in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity. Right now, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, every family, shakatatata, under any demonic siege, my goodness, the power of God is already touching people. Right now, at the count of three, let that shout be like a code in the spirit. One, two, three. Be delivered now. 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 Altars be broken. Altars be broken over families. Over families. Inside and outside. And those following online. I break it right now. Every family under any spell. Every family. That's right. Kabatakata. Bring them out. Shakatatata. Every family under any spell. Oh, you must leave them. You must leave them. I speak to those spirits. Hear my voice. In the name of Jesus. There is no hiding place for you. You must go. You must go. You must go. It's time for their deliverance. You must go.
Hallelujah. My goodness, God is doing miracles right now. God is so help that lady, please. Help them. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray for just the sisters. Something remarkable will happen right now. Remarkable. There is a spirit that puts women in bondage. Because when one woman is in bondage, it can affect a thousand men. There are ladies, oh my goodness. The fire of God will move, not small. Sisters, lift your hands. Lord, by fire, as the sisters cry, that spirit, that seraph, that follows ladies and causes them, visiting them in dreams, as you shout, Jesus, my goodness, I pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go, that did not keep their original estate, they will be judged right now. Father, locate every one of these sisters right now. One, two, shout Jesus. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Those spirits, go, 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 go. Shakatatata. Shapatatate. Lift your hands. There are people here. Strange dreams. Strange dreams in the night. You sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams. From men or women or animals coming to sleep with you. Or people tying your legs. And you see what is happening in the day. Whether you believe it or not is not the issue. I want to settle those things right now. Lift your hands. Lord, where are these people? From the dream realm. From the realm of the spirit. As you shout the name Jesus. Anyone under this condition. Some of you, that's what is responsible for masturbation. Some of you, that's what is responsible for pornography. Some of you, that's what is responsible for delay. Lift your hands. Father, those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three Oh, I bring you deliverance in the name of Jesus. I cause those spirits, causing delay. You must leave now, 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 now. Shaba ba ba ba, shake te te te, kapra ta ka ta ta ta, shake te 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 te, reke te te te. Go 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 go. Watch what they do. Shaka ta 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 ba na da ba, em proto koto pariata. That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. yes 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 prophesy i'm moving forward this is the ninth month by the blood of jesus i'm moving forward i'm moving forward under this anointing hallelujah hallelujah i like you to shout after me Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me 
and the next level by the blood of Jesus I bring those gates down open your mouth and begin to pray gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and pray come on koinonia everything every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus every legal access every claim the devil has over my life over my family by the blood of Jesus I declare that I'm free by the blood of Jesus I command my liberty I declare that the price for my freedom has been paid therefore Satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of Jesus every cause every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of Jesus pray Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Listen, many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer. I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people. You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen, human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen, some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you that's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus this is a strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly I like you to pray and say every atmosphere 
that I carry that does not come from God and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight I declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck I may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial I challenge it I change my spiritual climate by the blood of Jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we are going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence I like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time forget about your situation just prophesy just prophesy you may not know how it will happen just prophesy one more time prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me shout it say in the name of Jesus all the years all the fortunes every opportunity every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of God I command them to come back to me go ahead and pray this is a serious prayer point all the years all the fortunes all the opportunities all the access that have passed your life pray like Samson pray like Hezekiah pray let there be a restoration and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm the palmer worm, the caterpillar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray the last prayer point. Listen. There are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people. In the realm of the spirit when Jesus was born certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star and the moment they announced to Herod a king is born Herod said ah a king he said please find where he is and tell me so that I will come and worship him but his intention was to kill him you are going to pray over your destiny Please take this prayer point seriously. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I declare that my destiny is secured by the blood. Every act of witchcraft 
that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus release it now pray pray release my destiny release my destiny my prophetic potential release it release it hallelujah prophesy after me say in the name of Jesus this is my year of the rain it's a new dimension for me I'm breaking every limitation say it again I'm breaking every limitation and I declare that in this remaining part of the year an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk hallelujah we're going to do two things at the same time right now listen if there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body it's time for it to die are we together now are we together now please just address these people we're going to have all those people come and line up while that is happening please i beg you if you do not write anything in your prayer request please if you need papers maybe the ushers can pass it we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch off your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. The devil is a liar. He must Everything let you go tonight. That was stolen shall be restored unto you. Hallelujah. We don't just lay hands on people. I know that it takes a lot of time. But it's the way God is directing us. It's not just ordinary hand laying. It's a prophetic point of contact. Some of you are coming out for sickness. But the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness. Is that the mama with cancer? Okay. No, no problem. No problem. She can come. If she cannot stand, just give her a seat. Let her sit down, please. Those who are weak and cannot stand, please, you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse. The, the woman with cancer, if she, if she cannot come, just I'll minister to her. Everything that was lost. Make sure you are writing your prayer request, please. Everything that was lost. Hallelujah. All of you that are coming out, I want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us. There are all kinds of ministries. This ministry is like a spiritual factory. It's like a spiritual workshop. It's where we dirty our hands on the job. And as I minister to us, please, I want our hearts to be open. Don't just stand watching the power of God touch people. The moment I lay hands on you and minister to you, I want you to receive. You can go back to your seat. Some of you will be under the anointing. It doesn't matter as i pray for you you don't have to scrounge i will lay hands on everybody it's going to be a quick walk it will take time please when you write your request pass it to the ushers in case there are things listen listen let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point don't just write things carelessly 
while you are writing be praying in tongues because the spirit of god will bring into your mind bring you into remembrance it may even be a matter that is not your own you had the story of the gentleman dropped a prayer point and nine months later they are coming with twins there is nothing god cannot do father in the name of jesus i pray over your people there are powers tying down their destinies but you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform let there be miracles go ahead all of us we can join praying in tongues while i pray for these people occasionally worship team you will help us lord we give you praise in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at this i don't know they can't see it on screen it's not clear this is a leg that is bent father do a miracle they didn't fix it well in the name of jesus right now let the power of god do a miracle on this leg in the name of jesus Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. Out! Now you be God. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. 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 Now you be God, oh. point number two lord i take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight lift your voice i will not miss out on anything yeah. Yeah. hallelujah who brought this woman please huh? what's the issue what's wrong Chief. hallelujah we'll soon be rounding up let's just hear no 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 keep us standing what's wrong I'm paralytic. Nice. paralyzed yes. mama can she talk yes mama for how long I Paralyzed. Did. Yes, I went to the house and met She can't walk on her own. She can't walk very well. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, I curse this spirit. It's okay. In the name of Jesus. Mama, look at me. In Jesus' name, lift your hand. Lift it. Go. Don't look at Just lift it. Put it down. Lift it again. Paralyzed hand. Look at this. Look at this. Mama, clear the way for her. In the name of Jesus Christ, walk. Come. Don't hold her. Come. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Walk. Come. Come. Come on. Give Jesus we praise. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Paralyze. Miracles everywhere. of paralysis it never returns to you again in the name of jesus you are the son that brought her 
your, she's not your mom, yes. but you brought her. Yes. I pray for you. May you never lack helpers in your life. Because you are a young man, you are not related to her. Yet you carried mama out of compassion. This miracle is because of you. I'm laying hands on you and I prophesy to you. All the days of your life, may helpers be around you like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. For as long as your eyes can see the sun, you will find a helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Celebrate mama. God bless you. ministry come and stand here it's time for you to take fresh fire please if you come out and you are not a minister i will send you back i assure you don't embarrass yourself if you're a minister and you know not just that you sense the call of god please don't embarrass yourself we are going to pray for everybody but if you're a minister come go ahead don't be afraid when a season of god's glory please listen when a season of God's remarkable grace, it takes signs and wonders, not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God for the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone, I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request, prophesy. We're out. We'll do all this within the next 10 minutes so that we're done. Father, I pray. It's not by might, it's not by power. Lord, as I lay hands upon your servants, let something new, something divine. My God, I pray. Activate the gifts of the spirit in them. Activate the operations of signs and wonders. Shkabalata. Let utterance be given unto them. Let their lives, oh God, produce results. Results, oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire. Take the fire, 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 
Take the fire. 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 Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New levels. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New dimensions. Fresh grace. My goodness, fire is falling. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh anointing. New anointing. New dimension. Gifts of the Spirit. Vision. Dreams. Prophecies. Multiplied graces. I prophesy to all of you. Let it be a new season. In the name of Jesus. New season. New season. New season. I empower you for a new dimension in the spirit. I empower you. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. Please stretch your hands towards the prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Please stretch your hands. It's a prophetic instruction God gave us. We have seen amazing testimonies. If there are still people left, please let them come. Let them drop it very quickly. In one minute, I'd like you to begin to pray. Lord, it's time to turn my story around. My goodness. As we pray, miracles will begin to happen to people. Right in the crowd. Right in the crowd. As I'm touching the request, something is happening to you. Something is happening. I'm seeing angels lightning all over. All over. All over. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Go ahead and pray, everyone. of miracles happening in the realm of the spirit father turn these requests into testimonies the way I walk on them oh God these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ all our visitors please come out quickly if you're a visitor here
visitor, this is your first time. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation. Risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself. Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. Hallelujah. But seriously, we're trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens. Some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. Kaborato shatabaladaba. Nandekele koroto suto prashia. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain, rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them, help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels in the name of Jesus Christ. Step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia. A place of encounter it's not just the name of a meeting it's the name and the dimension of the operation of the spirit we bless you with hunger for God we bless you with passion for the things of the spirit I'm praying for you you will go back with such fire you will go back with such passion you will not recover from I pray that everything that has not been working in your life let it be activated tonight in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah i welcome all of you thank you so much for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here every friday um this is not our usual venue our venue is christ gospel church at new extension but we thank you for coming i bless you in the name of jesus and i'm praying for you from the depth of my heart and on behalf of everyone in this ministry and the many who are joining us online that you will return with a strange miracle in the name of Jesus you will return with a strange miracle some of you even before you get home your miracles will be waiting for you some of you this night you will have dreams and encounters and the veil over your eyes will be open some of you this night God will show you what has been happening in your life God will show you direction I see God giving a lot of you direction, direction for the next level. You will hear his voice very accurately. In the vision of the night, in the vision of the night, he will show you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you. For those of you who have never been here, I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details outside very quickly and then you come and join us. Those of you who have been here and we have received you, you can just go back to your seat with a blessing but those of you who have never been here you've not put down your name we need your names and details i want you to make your way here in the name of jesus everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meeting now you be god almighty god you know be my name now him be God, Almighty God, you know me now. You know two more times. Now you be God.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Pogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Kogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please, this for me, you always hear me say this. I consider this to be the most important part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of prophecy this is where the word of god comes into you like a drug and literally literally alters you and so i want you to receive with your heart open hallelujah please receive with your heart open in the name of jesus christ as i pray for you i want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen no more tears in the name of jesus no more tears in the name of jesus i prophesy no more tears in the name of jesus no more tears in the name of jesus no more tears in the name of jesus no more tears no more tears, no more tears in the name of jesus these hands that are lifted i prophesy may a supernatural anointing come upon it let it begin to produce extraordinary results in the name of Jesus Christ extraordinary results I pray for everyone due for promotion and every of your loved ones due for promotion in the name of Jesus we cause the embargo stopping their promotion and we prophesy promotion there will be testimonies of promotion power of God is touching people everyone and every family called jobless I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this please help them I feel like fire on my hands everyone represented here and every family called jobless right now in the name of Jesus I release an anointing for supernatural jobs receive it receive it receive it help them please Receive it, receive it. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now. Makata kata tata pakata. The anointing that came on Elijah that he girded his loins and ran receive that anointing right now. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. ago in this nation i'm not one who comments on things that happen on social media but i understand there was a debate that had to do with tithing shame on the church shame on us times infinity for being so confused because a man who didn't have any right just got up and wrote a proposition is proof that we have not been doing it by faith is proof that it's not a derivative of a dimension of God we've had that means someone can get up today and say hey, Jimmy, loving your wife is sin and all of a sudden he looks at this woman and says I know you gave me two children walk out of my house why because a man said loving your wife is bad we become slaves to the ideas of people 
just because they are bold in communicating the idea does not mean they are right our generation is an arrogant generation in the height of our failure we are still bragging you need to know God to survive the pride of this generation you will meet somebody who will tell you I'm in business I don't tithe I don't give I'm a millionaire keep watching when he finishes deceiving you he will crash and repent and start tithing while you are suffering from his teaching many people today who have advocated error have repented quietly and they are doing what they once misled people into but many other people are there suffering are we blessed we need to know God for ourselves we need to know God for ourselves this generic knowledge of God <clears throat> that's why for many of us every little thing you are looking for someone there's nothing wrong with someone agreeing with you but i mean something touches your head um please ejimi are you awake benga are you awake promise are you awake uh, pastor alpha who can i call when, when will you know god for yourself then you now text the people back and say pray then they say okay and pray didn't you know is that a news If you do not know God for yourself then let me tell you when God begins to expose some of us you know the privilege that God has given me to meet people sometimes I sit down and I hear them talk I can't believe a man can be this arrogant in error just because there's small money or small results around you hear people talking being sarcastic or men of God and you look at that person and you know I can look at a man and know what spiritual law you are breaking and know what consequence is waiting for you even while you are bragging ah, I insulted a man of God I did this and that and I went in peace look at the foolish man that is talking the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake the person is laughing 10 years later you will see the man at a railway station just standing with his shoes that's what happened that prophecy kept trailing him like a policeman trailing a thief and he thought just because he was free for two three years the word of god will stay till it judges everything the secret place i'm going to share with you six things six dimensions that we access through the power of the secret place and I want you to be very sensitive this has helped me in my life number one the secret place is the place of brokenness brokenness write it down Isaiah 51 17 Sir King Salama, Sir King Aljana, Ya Bone Naka, Bone Naka, Sujada, Sujada, Sir King Salama, Sir King Salama, Sir King Aljana, Hallelujah. Sorry, give us Isaiah 55. 55. 6 to 7. Isaiah 55. It says, Seek ye the Lord. 6 to 7. While he may be found. That's a very dangerous scripture. Where will the Bible say, While he may be found? This is not talking of salvation, no. This is not born again. There are dimensions in God that require timing. It, it, it will take, let me tell you, a man who begins to seek God at 80 years, you will find God, but there are dimensions. The remaining lifetime you have will not afford you to grow and transit and metamorphose spiritually to access certain dimensions of God. It says, seek him early while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Seven. He says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to God for he will abide.
abundantly pardon brokenness let me tell you this brokenness um, is not necessarily for sinners pride has almost killed men of God in our generation this holier than thou mentality whenever I talk about brokenness like this there are people who just say it doesn't let's get to power part listen brokenness is a state of the heart that declares your consistent dependence on God the Bible says a broken and a contrite spirit God will not despise do you know why many of us although we feel qualified we never find God because we believe that standing in our self-righteousness based on what we believe we have and know God should anoint me brokenness brokenness show me a man that can be broken towards God I show you a man who the devil will never have access to him look at David Moses was a man who walked with God very faithfully the Bible says he was the meekest man on earth yet Moses could not enter the promised land do you know that just because God told him to speak to the rock and out of anger that was justified he took a staff and hit the rock God said that's it you are not going he joined all the other people who could not make the promised land but here is David search me oh God let me tell you the posture of those that God will use in this generation. Search me, O oh God, and try my heart. It says, if there is any wicked way in me, you don't have to manifest it yet. It can be there, waiting until you have an estate. Nobody knows that one day you can insult a woman the age of your mother. You are not yet rich. So you will think that just because I'm an obedient young man, who would have known that David one day will kill Uriah and sleep with Bathsheba? Put a man's death sentence and say, go and die. A nice shepherd boy please I'd like you to pray in one minute and say Lord I open my heart search it brokenness it's a language that our generation hates but let me tell you it is the secret the number one proof that you are a man of the secret place is that consistently it is not sin that destroys men it is the pride of an unbroken heart before God it is not weakness and limitation that destroys men. It is the pride of an unbroken heart. Nebuchadnezzar was brought to his knees until he was broken. Pharaoh was brought to his knees until he was broken. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I'm not ashamed that whatever you find in my heart, but I come to you just as I am. Let there be a brokenness. Sir King Aljana, ya bole na kau, sujada ne na kau, Sir King Salama, Sir King Aljana, ya bole na kau, sujada ne. Psalm 139 verse 23 brokenness one big key in my life show me a man that is broken and contrite before God I show you a man whose rising cannot be stopped by any cause any gate whatever it is he says search me oh God and know my heart like a man knows his wife know my heart he said try me and know my thoughts 24 he said and see if there be any wicked way and lead me to the way everlasting that's a man before God that's that's the posture that can bring the presence of God attract the presence of God to a man every time we stand before God believing Lord why are you using this man there are people who see certain 
of our orthodox pastors and they stand as young people full of themselves and say this this reverend this man he doesn't even speak english well why is god using him why is the man rising whereas i am here i'm a fasting giant i have this knowledge i have that i have this and yet the ministry does not grow do you know why because that man is not sound in the word and he knows it so he goes to god and say lord if you depend on my teaching these members will not grow i come to you with my limited revelation can your grace speak for me and god says the little prayer you pray for the members i will amplify it because it's coming from a broken heart let me tell you pride kills when you see people arrogant for a long time they have left the secret place I can know whether you are one who is of the secret place by the consistency of self-glorification and pride if up to one month in your life passes without you seeing a need to spend time with God alone it's a sign your life is under attack hear me if you're a man of God here listen twice don't be carried away by some of this little accolades in ministry oh they invited me here i went to this country a senator met with me he said you are the greatest man of god in the world while they are saying that keep your ears to the throne lord what are you saying in the midst of that club god can say finish that meeting and let's meet where we usually meet you will enter there and god will never talk to you about a senator god will say i'm already seeing there is I, I want to bless you with 100 million but there's there's something i'm seeing that 100 million would destroy you and say god me i just a senator i would have prophesied to god say keep quiet i am god brokenness many of you stopped growing spiritually for a long time you didn't backslide but you didn't grow either because you are doing a lot of corporate things retreat now is, is a language many people don't even know what a retreat is they think retreat is fasting so they just close their door and fast and answer calls all through from morning till night gone are the days when people lock themselves and say sorry you are not going to see me for the next two days please hear me god is speaking to us if you don't practice retreats you will not survive the darkness of today it's true no matter who you are retreats Retreat is not when you gas out spiritually and you see that Kai, no grace is working in your life. No, you must find time. I'm busy, I'm busy is a trap of the devil. No, nope. if police arrest you now, you are not too busy to attend to the people. If an armed robber detains you somewhere, you won't say, I'm robber, I'm busy. Come the day I'm free. The power of brokenness. Have you come to a position where the secret place has broken you? Read you off your pride and everything. You know there is no brokenness by how we speak. Uh, the other day, someone just called me and is that I don't want to talk too much, but ah, at my level now, you know, then we now wrap it up with a religious all glory to God. It's a lie. It's a lie. All glory to God first comes from the heart before the mouth. Hallelujah. Is God speaking to us tonight? Some of us need to find time just by this message. God is telling you, I love you, but you have, you have worshipped me corporately. But that fellowship we used to have, something is wrong. Return to it, oh. Return to it. Return to it. That fellowship is not there again. Even when you didn't have money for hotel, you were having time for God. Now that you can pay for any hotel or any place to stay with God, you are no longer spending time. We only run to God when there is trouble. Then we just run and say, God, I've come again. Is it not you? You are God, I'm a man. But let's not know. Lord, I come to you. I stand before you. And I know that it is by your mercy and by your grace. Lord, I thank you. David, a man after, not God's money. You can be after God's money. You can be after God's anointing. You can be after God's fame. But a man after God's heart. Please, I'd like us to write it if you are writing. I return to the place of brokenness. 
genuine brokenness. It will show in our conversations when we are broken. You always acknowledge that I am what I am by the grace of God. There are arrogant statements, especially from we men of God, that are testaments of our absenting ourselves from the secret place. Number two, please take it down for me. The secret place is the place where we find the mercy of God. Ah. In recent times, I have caught a revelation of God's mercy in a way and a manner. I wish I knew this 10, 15 years ago. Not that I don't know about the mercy of God, but the idea many people have about the mercy of God is the reason why they never at all access his mercy. Do you know that the mercy of God is one of the major keys that many people are looking for in this life? Not even favor, mercy first. Our idea about mercy is that mercy is for sinners. So we pride ourselves that I'm not a sinner. I don't need mercy. Lord, what I need is revelation. <clears throat> the place of mercy. Psalm 86 verse 5. We'll read a few scriptures quickly. Psalm 86 verse 5. We find mercy in the secret place. For thou, O Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy. To who? Not to all believers. Please help me. Plant yours in mercy unto them that sin, unto them that fast, unto them that call upon you. If you call upon him, he knows you are calling upon his mercy. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. You call upon the mercy of God and see him move beyond your faith level. Call upon the mercy of God and see him move beyond everything in your life. When you invoke the mercy of God, he moves because of his, his son, Jesus Christ. It has nothing to do with you again. It has everything to do with There are people who are prosperous even though there is still a curse in their life. That curse has not been broken, but they are still prosperous because their language all the way is mercy. As the arrows that fly by day is coming, they have no knowledge of spiritual intelligence, but mercy. Please help that lady. The mercy of God. Oh, 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 oh. chapter 3 and verse 22 Lamentations 3 and 22 it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not what? consumed consumed because his compassions fail not that means even when I didn't know the spiritual laws that would have kept me I still saw results that were not accounted to my knowledge spiritually and later now that i know that this is the law responsible for this result i'm wondering why i was getting the result anyway because by the time i started getting the result i was not yet obeying that spiritual law i didn't understand the mystery of exemption i didn't understand the mystery of praise yet the rewards of exemption were following me and the bible tells me the secret that it is because in your ignorance you were able to provoke the mercy of God 
if God were to wait for us to obey every single spiritual law allocated for our victory, some of us would taste victory when we are 97 years because our rate of assimilation compared to our need for the results is very low. So he introduces his mercy. I know you are, you are, you, based on the way I deal with people, if you if you don't tithe consistently but something has happened in your life and i noticed for four months you have not been tithing ordinarily based on the terms of justice you should not receive this reward coming but you were wise enough immediately you called my mercy he overrides the four months not tithing and then he doesn't justify you but he gives you this to show that i am god he said because his compassion failed do you know what his compassion is? The ability to be touched with the feelings of your infirmity. He is aware that you are a man. Ha! So, when God gives Sam an instruction and says, Sam, remove your suit and sew it. And then for some reason, Sam is struggling. Maybe because when he grew up, he was taking care of all his family members and the little time now he's been able to do something for himself god is now saying to show god knows it's not easy because he has gone through pain and so when he disobeys god god doesn't say you disobey me i will judge you compassion makes him to examine the condition and say no if i were sam what would i have done no i i shift beyond I, I'm not justifying this, but Sam, I have been touched with the feelings of your limitation. I still qualify you. This is God. Oh, 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 oh. I started experiencing in my life before I ever understood the spiritual principles that control that result not many men of God will tell you what I'm telling you most people will make it look like all their result is a direct reflection of their total obedience is a lie no how many of you men of God have gone to preach and you were too tired to pray you just lay down open your eyes and it was time for the vigil there are times that I'm so tired, I leave Koinonia here. And before I get home, it's past one. I have to leave five o'clock to catch the flight. I'm there, there is a delay. I'm arriving and all kinds of things. And the meeting is already on. And sometimes all I do is just lie down on my bed. And I say, Lord, I know this part of you. It is your mercy that I need in this meeting. And all of a sudden, that anointing comes again. I know that the angel of his presence is with me within that room. Not because I, I honestly took out the time to pray i will be lying to tell you i prayed eight nine hours for every sermon for the results you get it's not true there are times that all i did it was in the plane i was sleeping i didn't even know until we landed and got up dragged myself like that went to dress and there i'm going in the meeting and everybody has been fasting for two weeks apostle is coming and you who is preaching you have not fasted you are tired is you stagger yourself on stage but suddenly I know what this thing is, oh. Sirkin Salama, Sirkin Al Janna. Psalm 25, verse 6 to 7. While I was studying this, I stumbled across that scripture and it blessed me in no small way. He said, Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Next verse. 
he said remember not the sins of my youth he said no my transgressions according to thy mercy remember thou me for thy goodness sake listen there are many of us that if you pray this prayer many parents today are suffering the consequences of the sins of their youth they did something when they were young and it followed them forever forever and their children's children they are not exactly under a curse it's just the rod of judgment that is upon them he said remember not the sins of my youth there are people here before you knew god before you knew anything about god you even came from an abused family so there was no hope of knowing anything about god you almost shredded your life into pieces it was even when you came to university you got born again but there is a backload of a lot of spiritual laws that have been intertwined together remember not oh god the sins of my youth nor my now listen there is a difference between sin and transgression let's assume you lived a very nice life what of transgression violations of ordinances whether through ignorance or disobedience lord remember not that in 1995 i should be tightened i was criticizing men of god in 20 in 2000 i should be filled with the holy spirit and i said god forbid i blasphemed against the holy spirit remember not my transgression he said according to thy mercy not according to thy wisdom according to thy mercy remember thou me for thy goodness sake these are mysteries in the bible that's why some people will keep getting angry with a lot of people you will see a woman the woman is not so wise she's not so intelligent she's not so learned she has been a widow since the children were five years but you see help coming from everywhere mama what is the secret she'll say all i know is one song one song of mercy that i sing all the time and then another arrogant person i went to yell i went to this i went to that in fact hey, don't worry i know that they will elect me it's just that i'm being patient until this guy becomes president the guy becomes president for eight years and goes you are nothing for you if you can learn to provoke god's mercy when blind Bartimeo, jesus was passing jericho for the last time he didn't say jesus i am obedient to i've been listening to your message jesus would have said they're not obedient enough you only judge disobedience when your obedience is complete not around he said thou son of david have mercy hold on was jesus the son of david no the son of david was solomon so you will say you are calling solomon oh, don't call me solomon will come and help you but he knew something thou son of david have mercy upon me and then he turned he said what do i do he said that i will receive my sight the mercy of god many of us come from families whose parents were wicked to others and if god is to no matter how innocent you are the wickedness that some of our loved ones some of our loved ones had jobs they stop young people from rising they are carrying on their head the woes and the pain of bleeding people forget that they repented later on it will take the mercy of god to advocate for them oh, oh, oh. hallelujah when jesus appeared to me i'll be lying if i was I, I always seek the lord but at that time i was not on any special fasting program i was not on any special word program i i'm not sure i was even studying my bible just lying down quietly and then he came what brought him mercy people ask me today i want to see jesus i tell them i don't know how i don't know how to help you see jesus i know how to help you love god but to see jesus the equation even me i don't understand the food i just know some variables nobody knows all the equation what do you add plus what equal to seeing jesus 
you add it and see whether he will visit you this night because you can sit down here crying for an encounter and Jesus will leave you and go under the bridge in Kaduna and wait for someone by 1 a.m. who is busy insulting my stupid men of God there comes Jesus he says I am Jesus and you are saying with oh, I'm, I'm here fasting Jesus this is not fair I thought you say you reward those who diligently seek you because in the midst of that he's ranting compassion is interpreting what he's saying he's not really insulting God he's saying I'm a confused young man looking for help God hears the voice of your mouth but he hears the voice of your heart that's why you can be saying stupid things and God is answering something else because while your mouth is saying something your heart is saying something years ago I was speaking to one guy who I don't know there's the, the guy smokes all kinds of things and I sat down I was remember him remember that gentleman Jimmy very funny guy he was under I think he was under the bridge in Kwangila Kwangila bridge this guy came to be part of us and within less than two weeks he started entering dimensions of encounter with Jesus there's somebody that was a I mean you look at his life as if there is nothing but in the midst of that what his heart was saying is lord i need you whereas you physically your mouth is saying lord i need you but your heart is saying lord i'm fine by myself god does not just listen to your mouth your heart too has a voice that's why he said try my heart oh lord give me money and your heart is saying lord i'm on a revenge mission i need to prove to people i'm not a failure and god says your heart and your mouth is conflicting but someone else can say i will never tight and what the heart is saying is lord i'm frustrated if this thing is real reveal to me number three the secret place is the place where we find rest and comfort rest and comfort oh how you need this in this troubled world let me give you an advance notice everyone you know has the potential of disappointing you everyone i think it's a revelation you need to note today everyone born by a woman born again or not has the potential to disappoint you disappoint you in business disappoint you in ministry disappoint you in marriage disappoint you in every regard when people say a pastor disappointed me i thought he would make me a deacon i've been there for him he didn't make me a deacon i i thought i thought i'm not the last but what are you saying that's a man for you but there is a place that god provided where the weary can find rest and comfort you're a man of god listen to this i was sharing with a dear friend today on phone in the afternoon and he was so weary and tired spiritually and i was a distant friend somewhere and i was just advising him i say you see this work that we do bar we look busy but our lives are very lonely you need to know how to find comfort in god otherwise if you can't find comfort in god you will start finding comfort in movies you will start finding comfort somewhere you will now i'm not saying it's wrong one day you go to football viewing center where someone that's behind you will go and kill you there have you learned to find rest and comfort in god that's why some of us get into the mistake because of the obsession to share your problem with someone the pain overwhelms you you don't choose who whoever is there for you emotionally at that time you run your mouth and tell people intricate details about your life about your family when you are done with the gist you don't know what to do with yourself again because you have messed up your entire life they used to respect your father and your mother until one day you open your mouth and told the people wrongly do you know that i'm not the first child of my father i i it's a long story uh my my father pregnanted one zimbabwean woman 10 years before i came and the person you are telling is not even matured spiritually it's just that your heart was looking for the secret place and because you didn't have it you had to search for someone be careful this is particularly for ladies because ladies you are designed to be expressive you always want to be heard be careful you would destroy a lot of good things in your life 
there are people who sat down in restaurants talking about the contract that their husbands got and the person sitting at the other side of the table was an arm robber the guy had finished eating but he refused to stand up and go because she was sharing him god is faithful though sorry i'm meeting you for the first time am i talking too much and then instead of the friend to say yes they say no 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 i'm okay then you continue talking God is faithful to us. We, I, we, I, he even said he's buying a jeep for me. As I'm talking to you now, there's twenty thousand dollars on our bed. Eh? The way the bed is, it's a six by eight, seven, and under, you know that kind of bed. While you are talking, the armed robber is nodding. I say, in fact, I didn't even tell you where we live. Do you know that we moved recently? You know that that one white house, and in the night, that man is just there and comes with accuracy and looks for you and say, "Remember, you were describing your house for me." lie down and he shoots and kills everybody don't allow your mouth destroy your destiny are we together there are men of god who carry their church problems out of pressure and took it to politicians instead of taking it to god sir just to let you know forget all this one that we laugh on tv oh, the truth is that the bills that are on our head we need 200 million by friday and the senator said oh really ah um, and you always look sharp like this <laughs> that's how we do it is your industry and all of a sudden one day you go somewhere and say all of you lift up your hands and the senator is in a beer parlor watching you i said look at these idiots the other day i was with this man and he was begging me for 200 million because only god should have heard that you left him in search for what only his secret place can give you. Are we learning something tonight? Hmm. The secret place is a place of rest and comfort. Psalm 27. Please media help us first. Psalm 27 from verse 13 to 14. We will read four serious scripture. Psalm 27 verse 13 to 14. He said, I had fainted unless... I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. 14. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. No matter who you are in life, because of disappointed expectations, because of our goals and our dreams not happening when and how we want it to be there are times that you can be weary as a man of god you've trust god for increase in membership you are pouring your heart do you know one of the most heartbreaking thing for any man of god is to truly pour your heart to members and people and not see them growing at the rate that matches your sacrifice except you are not an honest man of god it will pain you sometimes when i get text messages from people i truly tears fill my eyes i just can't because it's painful the time it takes to prepare just one sermon you see that and then all of a sudden very unwise decisions that come from those things and your heart just bleeds are we together at that time you will be tempted to call a friend call somebody or whatever confident now you must learn to wait on the lord lord i bring before you these church bills lord i love you but the bills in my family are almost killing me the bills in my church almost killing me lord i come to you because nobody can understand me nobody understands me they all think i'm a wicked woman but lord you know my heart i come to you and the lord says find rest this is where you can be understood it is powerful to be understood unfortunately life does not give you that kind of opportunity with men it's difficult for men to understand you but there is one there is a place brothers and sisters that you can go where you know god understands you hallelujah wait thou upon the lord psalms 91 and verse 4 to 5 then we look at 62 and verse 1 to 5 if god is god speaking to you tonight psalm 91 and verse 4 he said he shall cover thee look at this come he gives you a picture of a hen or an eagle is that true you know how eagles protect their young ones they spread their feather and cover them while they are under they just cover them 
in other words let let me see let me see the the animal let me see the 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 predator in the wilderness that will come near you i know you are fragile in yourself but i cover you he said he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust then his truth shall be your shield and buckler have you experienced that dimension of god that people can be insulting you many of us have not risen to places you know for some of us who god has granted grace in ministry small it's painful to pour your heart there are times that you can do everything you are doing and all of a sudden someone may be listening to a colonial message and say all these pastors all they are looking for is your money i don't trust any pastor in nigeria they are all stupid people they all use your money it's all church money you see all of them dressing it's all your money they are using when you hear that kind of thing no matter how you are sometimes as a human being it can touch your heart because you know you are sincere but there's no one to explain to and god doesn't even allow you to explain anything to anybody at such times his presence and he says my son i'm the only person on earth you owe explanation and if i've credited you it doesn't matter who and what they think comfort and rest someone looked at me and said apostle how do you get motivated you are always happy i said you think so if i if what is on my head comes upon you you will collapse physically immediately not after a few weeks immediately 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 success is a burden it's a burden you should pray to be prepared before you pray it comes to you are we together yes success i think it was last year i went to buy suya in the night i was just playing a song and someone just knocked the door of my vehicle i just went down and then i i looked at the lady and she was jumping she said, ah, apostle you buy swear i mean that's my life what 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 sort of embarrassment is that that that's the burden of being successful what what is what is wrong with swear is swear tobacco just that i stroll in the night to just make myself happy you see when you become great everything about your life is everybody's business and it can be a burden it can be a burden sometimes people will call you in the night and you say you are sleeping you say i'm surprised you are sleeping look at that kind of stupid text you see that and it can make you feel guilty sometimes you will think it will enter you but sometimes you feel guilty because truly that time you may have planned to pray it's just that sleep took over you the people make you feel bad and you stand up saying because of this i must go for three days dry to prove there's there's nothing to prove my brother go to the secret place and find rest and find comfort many of us don't know how to find rest in god we don't know how to find comfort in god that's why we find comfort in things that's why we find comfort in people you find comfort in a friend that disappoints you you move to another one that disappoints you then you go to a pastor that disappoints you then you go to a film that disappoints you then you go to a drink that disappoints you then you go to a club that disappoints you then you say i hate life like solomon you now say vanity upon vanity all is I have learned to find comfort in his presence i remember one time when the crowds were increasing here i was concerned about the rain and i said lord what do we do what do we do there are several people coming you know several people and they will keep coming what do we do that time sometimes because the venue may not be available uh, the alternatives we used to use then were very inconveniencing i had to go to god look at moses do you know what happens when you are a leader people expect you to have answer to everything even what they don't have answer for they are very okay with themselves they pity and excuse themselves but they look at you and say you should have an answer for this they looked at moses and said moses you don't know also if you don't find a way of parting this red sea we are taking it gently now we will butcher you here make swords from the gold we took from egypt and kill you here and and put your monument and moses said just take it easy wise man he ran to the presence of god lord what do i do i need i need comfort these people are wearing me and he says stand still he said take your rod go and tell the people to move forward 
learn to draw strength in his presence learn to retreat when people look at you and do all kinds of things you have neighbors that are nagging and troublesome you have people in your office who are always misunderstanding what you are doing you have people who will bribe and cheat and live their lives anyhow and you have made up your mind that there's no bribing there's no cheating if it's 10 naira for the organization i'm returning it and they look at you and say holy holy stupid person are we all not chopping somehow in nigeria even that company said is it not with bribe they started this company and they try to make you feel guilty at that point my soul wait thou upon the lord wait thou upon the lord psalm 62 verse 1 to 5 quickly if we're unable to finish we'll continue next week psalm some of you this message you don't need it now just keep rising the time will come you will need this message daily you will search for this message and sit down and weep while you hear right now you are not sowing any seed but people are giving you their harvest so you think it's your faith that is working a time will come you will be exposed to the high sun the reality of working these kingdom principles then it will down on you now sometimes you go for meetings and when a man of god is preaching you see pastors crying standing up and you'll be wondering why are they like this because they they are closest to that reality when they say bills that is not captured in your mind because someone else is awake while you are sleeping the time will come when you will be awake where you should be awake and that's when you will find out that someone can have a bed but not have sleep the situations in your life will wake you up say are you joking you want to sleep when we are here verse 1 to 5 truly my soul waited upon God he said from him cometh my salvation next verse to 5 he only is my rock and my salvation he is my defense ah, I shall not be greatly moved verse 3 how long will ye imagine mischief against a man talking to enemies now ye shall be slain all of you as a bowing wall shall ye be and as a tottering fence for they only consult to cast him down from his excellency it says they delight in lies they bless with their mouth but they curse inwardly this is a picture of the tragedy of greatness that when people become great this is what happens to them men can say well done you are a man of god but in their heart they say we pray that one day you will have an accident to prove that this faith is nothing the bible says to bring him down from his excellency then he says my soul wait thou only upon god he said for my expectation is from him are you blessed tonight you must learn to wait on him for comfort instead of running around and harassing people listen every time situations overwhelm you keep quiet go to the secret place play a song like this or play worship i think media worship, worship team you people should do these kinds of things you just have 30 minutes of strong instrumentation like this for people to soak in because there are times you can't sing i wish i can tell you is every time you can dance dance where is the energy from I, there's a lady she may be in koinonia here they are burying her mother on um today's sunday i think on tuesday or wednesday this lady's mother died like 10 days ago she calls me almost 10 times every day crying and say apostle i believe my mother can come back to life that my mother said she will live long my mother was a god-fearing woman you know how difficult it is for a man of god especially when you walk in the anointing to respond to people like that and after praying and fasting when they came to carry the mother's body i think from shika or so to travel with her she kept crying and telling them that they, they should leave her her mother will come no i say small girl we know you are this that lady can get into prostitution immediately because of anger and say god failed me and then someone will run his big mouth and say something at that point what that lady needs is the secret place there is no amount of counseling you bring that will touch that lady are we together it's true what happens when a man of god and his wife is unable to have a child what happens when a man of god who is anointed gets married 
and then they find out he's impotent what happens when a man of God's family is in shambles he labors and gives birth to children he's pouring his heart to bless the world and all the children daughters getting pregnant sons are into drugs it's difficult for that man to stand and preach because he has to continue to be a preacher of righteousness but someone says don't bless us with this your faith thing if you know God why is it that your daughter why is it that your son has not been able to do anything brothers and sisters there are times that life can push you that even the strongest of us will need to lean to something other than you at that point find rest oh my soul find rest find rest in his presence it's true there are times that the leaders send me text messages sir we need to make a decision now this is what we need to do this is what we have to do this is what we have to do sometimes i think it was in the school of ministry or so um a few days or last week i was told that while lectures was going on someone's bike was stolen or so very funny incidents now when you hear such kinds of things as a man of god it can touch you have you learned to rest in god i have learned to draw strength in his presence we wait on you lord we wait on you we wait on you lord we wait on you we wait on you we wait on you lord we wait on you we wait on you Lord, we wait on you. Number four, the secret place is a place of revival and restoration. Write it down. The secret place is a place of revival and restoration. Psalm 23 from verse 2 and 3, please. Restoration of fire, restoration of hunger, restoration of love for God restoration of values restoration of your physical energy psalm 23 from verse 2 he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters verse 3 he restores my soul he restores my soul he restores my soul there are times you need restoration you need restoration of fire you need restoration of grace psalm 143 verse 11 psalm 143 verse 11 a place of revival quicken me O lord for thy name's sake for thy righteousness sake bring my soul out of trouble the prayers that great men pray quicken my soul lord revive me revive me my the situations in my life i can feel life going out of me physically revive me revive me oh god revive me i need a reviver lord the ministry burden is overwhelming me i can't pray again i can't fast again there is a conference coming and lord the finances is not there the energy is not there just when i want to prepare my son is causing trouble just when i want to love god one of the sons that i've so labored and raised is now disappointed revive me lord i feel life going out of me you need revival revive my fire lord i used to be a prayer warrior i used to pray for two hours three hours all of a sudden as soon as i graduated now it's three years after graduation lord i'm surprised no visions again no fire no nothing i'm surprised i misquote scriptures i cannot even no i used to wake up 2 a.m every day 12 o'clock every day now in two weeks i've not even called on your name revive me a secret place it's a place where men cry they come to him and say lord revive me revive me revelation chapter 2 4 to 5 revelation chapter 2 
this was the lord speaking to the seven churches he said nevertheless i have somewhat against you what do i have against you he said because thou has left thy first love this is a word from the lord to many of us here not thou has stopped loving me thou has left your first love i like many of us to just be sensitive to what the spirit is doing i already sense the anointing but there are many of us the way you started with god is not the way you are going now it's impossible for a whole day that you will not open your bible you will not read but right now you don't even know where the bible is that's the truth you love god you are born again but the fire has gone you may even be a preacher there's no week that you will not fast at least one day but right now six months gluttony has eaten up your fire quench the fire on the coals that the lord would need to pick those tongues of fire again from the throne and touch your heart and touch your hand and touch your lips return to your first love return to your first love return to your first love god is speaking to us return to your first fire return to your first appetite for spiritual things you used to buy at least a book every month right now it's more than two years the only books you have are the ones that are left there you are not interested again you have all kinds of devotionals you have all kinds of things there are many believers that need to return to their first love is God speaking to us tonight return to your first love and you return by going back to the secret place do you know sometimes what God does for me is that I can sit down like this quietly and he begins to play before me the visions of my yesterday yesteryears all of a sudden I see myself in the night when I used to pray I see myself studying I see those things and they bring a fresh energy fresh energy to me many of us have lost visions no vision you dream you sleep for eight hours you don't see anything tied to your destiny something is wrong Yahweh Yahweh hey, hey. help me sing Yahweh Yahweh number five the secret place is a place of illumination is where the secrets of destiny is revealed to men the secret place is where you find the secret of your destiny you will never find it in a book you may read it in a book but the secret place is where the blueprint the mysteries of your destiny are unveiled to you Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, 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 hey. Yahweh. place God gave me this formula that the string must always be played while I teach he said I will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp I didn't get it from a book it was in the secret place many years ago he said your anointing is tied to the atmosphere of worship that every time the mystery is prayed the spirit of prophecy will come upon you the secret place many of you are in one position in destiny there is no, you don't know what else to do because the secret place is where the blueprint the strategy for your destiny is revealed
person that it worked for brother A does not mean it will work for you you must go to the secret place Lord what is my destiny about open this thing what is the key to my anointing I know I'm anointed but how do I open it why do I stand in a meeting and not see your power flow sometimes it happens I'm not sure I try to copy this man of God I try to do this what is the key what is the key what is the key how do I know this anointing is in a place how do I know what you want Daniel chapter 2 we are reading from verse 14 to 22 then we'll jump to verse 28 a king sleeps in the night and has a strange dream and the king is angry if no one can tell me the dream and the interpretation I will kill everybody and here comes Daniel Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok the captain of the king's guard which was gone for to slay the wise men of Babylon People were about to die because there was no strategy. Next verse. 16. We are reading to 22. Then Daniel went in. Listen. And desired of the king that he would give him what? Time. It's not that it cannot be found. Give me time. It looks like my life is not making progress. It's like there is no way out. I don't conclude on me yet. Give me. Somebody prophesied to someone and said give me time it looks like i'm confused i've been going around in circles and nothing is happening give me it looks like god called me but the anointing is not yet speaking he said give me time something is about to be revealed in the altar of fellowship that will bring fire on my life i see it in dreams but it doesn't happen in my meetings i've seen prosperity but what is the secret he says that he would give him time and that he would show guarantee if you give me time i will prove you wrong you call me a failure give me time i will prove you wrong you call me barren give me time i will prove you wrong you call me a failure my father called me a failure give me time i will prove you wrong listen don't let no arrogant person look at your life today and conclude on you anytime anybody talks nonsense don't argue give me time i said i was called into the ministry of wealth and abundance and he said with this 200 naira shoe said don't worry just give me time something will be shown me in the secret place i will do business with god in the secret place that will shut people down let me tell you this for those who have been here in this ministry for a long time i said this thing many years ago you see that I said this thing many years ago that's why the name started eternity network international right from when from a, a cave somewhere with a bag because I saw it I knew that a time will come it will be a privilege for kings and presidents to hold your hand give me time it doesn't look like it give me time between now and then a mystery will be revealed brothers and sisters when you see a man rising by a technology you don't understand he used time to buy mysteries in the spirit time is currency we can use it and do business with God and receive the mysteries of our destiny in exchange 17 then Daniel went to where he went to his house just like everyone went to their own house and made the king the thing known to Ananiah and so on and so forth 18 that they would desire what mercies of the God of heaven you now see our mystery again concerning what is a secret wealth is a secret Lord why is this thing not working in our family it's a secret this anointing as open as you see there is more to it than what your eyes see there are secrets there are secrets to life is the one you carry that will help you command life there are secrets to favor it says and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men in babylon 19 hallelujah 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 then the secret was revealed to joshua selman in a night vision 
he says and daniel bless the god of heaven listen there are people here what you are doing is true you are called but you will not get there the way you are approaching it your call is genuine but there is no secret nothing has been given to you god gave me the secret of not the general church growth the church growth for koinonia it's a secret it's a secret it's not charms that is bringing people it's a secret it's a mystery we trade mysteries in the kingdom you will look at it like this and not see where the equation adds up but you ask the devil find out the devil that will stop people from coming it's a mystery whatever mystery brings you somewhere keeps you there it's a mystery then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision. Daniel blessed the God of heaven. We are reading to 22. Then Daniel answered and said, Listen, blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. He gave wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them who know understanding. 22 he revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what it is in darkness and the light dwelleth with him 28 verse 28 i thank thee and praise thee O god of my fathers who has given me wisdom and might and has made known to me now what we desire of thee for thou hast now made unto us the king's matter a matter that does not concern you but by the mystery of the secret place God gives you something great men are fathers of faith in this nation they will tell you they found secrets when they started people said don't mind them it's five years now they are going as if the devil doesn't exist I've passed redemption camp a number of times and I am amazed at how people leave Lagos around and come to this forest i've been to canaan land altar i've been to almost almost all the prayer grounds from mfm to to living faith to to redeemed to four square it's amazing almost all of them can be holding programs concurrently simultaneously and it's all packed full to the outside same mysteries listen when you hold the mysteries of the kingdom i pity whoever just thinks you are joking it's not pride you will play life like a chess but there is a God in heaven that revealed what please I want to comfort you concerning your business concerning your career there is a God oh, in heaven and the Bible says he has the ability to reveal secrets my life is full of this kind of experiences where God comes to me and says this is it I give you a blueprint I give you a secret and make known unto the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days thy dream and the visions of thy head are these and he began to tell him revelation let's take one last verse and we're done for today Jesus Psalm 25 verse 4 to 5 Psalm 25 verse 4 to 5 and then we'll pray very touching scripture let's read it one to read four to five it says show me thy ways O Lord teach me thy paths next verse lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the God of my salvation because I'm aware you can do this what do I do on thee do I wait how long say retreat all day not part of the day all day because I want you to teach me something I want you to guide me so I wait all day not half day there are retreats that are half day two hours a proper full retreat is a complete day from the rising of the sun to the going down you are in his presence Lord I stay 
I know you will come. Six hours he has not come. You are still worshipping. Sitting like a madman. Eight hours you've not had anything. It's just general scriptures of comfort. I will lead you where you will go. You just be patient. Nine hours he's still there. And all of a sudden late into the night. You are sitting like a madman and say what am I doing here? Then he comes in his majesty. When he comes you know he's there. All of a sudden the climate changes his majesty is coming to your room he says what have you been asking me about this is for your destiny come let me show you and he takes you in the spirit of the lord opens a bible you have been reading every day but this time he's the one who opens it this is your destiny this is it this is what you do about your finances when you do this they will attack you here do this one do this these are the keys go and he leaves you get up from that vision and say where are the devils they come like before but you rise by a mystery and they say what lifted you the secrets of the lord we don't do business in this kingdom by bold face you will die like a chicken the mysteries of the kingdom wow. listen there's there's a woman now is i'm just waiting i i trust that they would finish i think i sent you the text a miracle happened just between yesterday and today a doctor I, I don't know if it's shika here he was trained in abu someone died this morning um now we don't talk a lot about all these kinds of things they were in the surgical room with the lady operating for what i don't know and then i don't know what happened and the person just died like that he was trained in abu here but i think it's another hospital and they were all confused because the lady said according to the doctor he said they beg, i sent you the text and a number of people here that they begged the lady said please make sure i come alive and the lady just died like that just died and the doctor sent me a text i think it was around maybe afternoon and said this is the situation and the family members are sitting somewhere just waiting for the report and he said honestly apostle you have to help us this is a difficult situation this girl has died they checked after a long time i said are you a doctor i replied him back are you a doctor he said yes i'm certified i'm not he said he was doing the surgery with um, some other senior colleagues i said Tor, what do you want now he said apostle we can't tell this family this lady has died and i said okay the anointing of the spirit just came upon me in a very strange way and then i sent a text it's still in my phone i sent a text i said in the name of jesus I called back your life. I said they should take the phone and place it on the person. And then the doctor foolishly just did it like that. Help her please. Immediately he placed that phone. After a few minutes, all of a sudden from the gates of death, this girl just jumped back. The text is still in my phone. Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, hey. Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, hey, Yahweh, 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 hey, 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 Yahweh, 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 hey, 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 Yahweh. stop here for tonight listen what you call greatness in life is a function of these realities accessed by the power of the secret place if the devil robs you from the reality of the secret place he has used one blow to destroy many aspects of your life there are many of us right now we are we are at a crossroad listen when you go to the secret place you don't come out till you come out with answers many of us go to the secret place. we are not desperate enough god does not visit casual people diligently seek him that you go back with answers and sit there and say lord do you know i read the story of buddha buddha was a young indian who was confused about life 
and why some things could not answer it doesn't mean i believe in him that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying buddha got angry carried notebooks and went to the secret place and said he's not coming out again until whoever is the deity of the universe explained to him the mystery of life he went there and whoever he met there and had an encounter changed his name to buddha he left there as an ordinary person he came out as buddha this is in the negative there is a way you can enter the secret place as a failure and say lord it is me and you all i don't know what you are going to do but lord my recharge card and your god is in this room i'm not going out for your information i brought one gallon of yogurt and one gallon of juice and one bag of pure water my bathroom is there i'm not going out there must be an answer to my finances get relevant notebooks you will stay for let me give you a side effect you will stay for a long time and not hear anything but if you have the guts to insist when he tests your resolve and see that you mean it like jacob he will come he will come he will come ask occultists the freemasons one of the things they do when they are initiating people and all of that is to hit your forehead with an object that is very painful that you can faint test your resolve do you want it that bad and they test your resolve when you are taking a student to nda sometimes from the gate as you the mother just lets the student enter from the gate someone can just kick him and say oh yeah frog jump you are watching your child doing frog jump and say mommy i want to go back and then they say don't mind him and after five years that that weak chicken like guy can go to a fuel station and harass a thief and say sit down first they don't talk i say i will beat you here you see my belt i'm a military man something happened to him sometimes we pity ourselves too much to get the answers we are looking for we are not desperate enough to stay we want cheap power cheap prosperity cheap lifting cheap influence no it doesn't work that way there is a price are you ready to pray lord grace to pay the price lift your voice and begin to pray hey. There is a prize for the anointing. There is a prize for revelation. There is a prize for direction. There is a prize for greatness. The prize is the secret place. The staying power. There is a prize for a flourishing ministry. There is a prize for a thriving business. Nekata barakato shana maliga da bari adaba. Shega da barakato. Pray, Lord, I receive grace. Whatever it would take, in the name of Jesus, grace to stay. Lift your voice and pray, Koinonia. He that dwells. In the secret place the secret place not the public place hey! you are beautiful in all your When I find that way, it can bring glory to my life. You are beautiful in all your ways. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Lord, I kill every distraction in my life. Everything that can distract me from the secret place. Everything that can destroy my pace i receive grace come on pray shabakato sekete leva takataria shabrande katos kalabarakato sekete balatatia ena masena ni ararana nabash 
Tena mala na bari anaba. Shena mala na dias. Sere mala na na masena na na. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, from heaven, let a fresh desire for your presence. It's not something you will do mechanically. Lord, a desire, a desire greater than my necessary food. A desire for your presence. More than a desire for, tri for preaching. More than a desire to succeed. Plant it in my heart and let it grow. That you become my desire. Shabakato Sabarada Bashele Manadara. Lekete prekete leko sodo balada 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 bal. Hallelujah. Father, open up the secrets of my destiny. There is something my eyes need to see so that my generation can see me. Open up, oh God. Let the book be open. Lift your voice and pray. Pray this prayer point with all your heart. What is the secret to your anointing upon my life? What is the secret to the spirit of revelation upon my ministry? What is the secret that you are giving me for wealth and abundance? What is the secret for influence? What is the secret for favor? Let the secrets of the kingdom be unveiled to me. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. But we are still going to pray this secret prayer. Listen, we are still going to pray it again. I heard Bishop Oyedepo say this many times. That people reign in life not based on the secrets available on the one God has shown them. The Lord told me something, I think it was two years ago. You know, we always teach that the word of the Lord is powerful. Yes, but not every word of God blesses you. It is the one sent to you. Sent. There were many widows in Zarephath, but a prophet was sent to one. If Elijah met another widow, it would be disobedience. Although he would give her breakthrough. Sent. Sent. The word for prosperity can come for everybody, but you must say, send me mine. Send me mine. It's a formula that will be added to you that will work for only you. Let me tell you, there is an equation in every man's success equation that was customized for him. You first start with the general understanding. It's like occult. You will be rising with it, but you get to a level where God says, no, the principles have taken you. Let me now show you your own. It's true. It works for finances. It works for ministry. I was preaching somewhere and a man of God told me something. He said, he said Pastor, um, we spend so much money on publicity is it alright if we stop because I hear you don't use I said don't stop oh. the general principle is that the word must be published but how it will be published is a secret God gave me I'm not saying posters are bad that's not what I'm saying but I'm just saying it was you copy it you will run your church down sir don't do it there are things God can tell you God can tell you every time enemies rise against you. Fast for one day and that's all. It's a secret to you. 
it may look like a stupid secret but you will stand and see your landlord vowing that if by tomorrow I, oh you see here eh, brothers and sisters when you hold these things your life almost becomes magical it's true look at jesus he had a secret they took him to a cliff all that was left is to push him and he walked through them hi there were times he parted the water but for jesus he walked on it if you were waiting for the water to part in jesus time that strategy was not it was of god but not relevant for that occasion he walked on the water and he told peter now we don't just part the water we walk on it there was something about the body of knowledge revealed to the people then that could only allow god give them miracles by passing through water but now he said you can walk on it an angel appeared to me and he told me that there shall be no loss an angel why are you confident like this paul an angel appeared to me already it's not because i'm not human i've seen something and they were taken safely to an island called melita there is something you see people can be ranting up and down oh don't worry my deep. that's why sometimes when people send me text messages apostle i saw an attack on your life they may be right but sometimes i just laugh it over boy this man standing before you is surrounded by mysteries like chariots there is what you must do the moment they tell you oh somebody is about to attack your life and destiny do you know what to do is there a formula god gave you that you get up and say lord this is it and you manipulate life from the secret place and come out to your shock thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph and makes through our life the savour of the knowledge of the glory of god what you know in life listen matters we're rounding up in this kingdom who doesn't like you is no problem but who likes you matters who doesn't like you is not a problem but who likes you matters there are many people who are praying that God should clear them out of the way. They can't be cleared. They are standing there by a covenant that even God respects. They have become gates to a system. The way you pass through is to tell God to touch their heart to like you. Praying that they get up is a foolish thing. Are we together? You may have a vice chancellor or a head of department or a dean. He may not be very born again but that man sows a seed to a dangerous man of God who has already spoken and said no one will fight you so you will fight that man and the word on him will fight you back and you are wondering why is this guy so unbelieving yet immune because a word is over him and if God gives you intelligence he says look this man on his own can die in one day from your prayer but he was wise enough to find an anointing that shields him because of that what you need to pray is favor and he said lord grant me favor and the man says i don't know why i just like you come there are people you don't cast away you pray that god will touch their heart for your sake not everything is castable you couldn't cast caesar away you could just pray that god will make a man touch him to release the body of jesus are we blessed father in the name of jesus christ i pray for your people my duty is to expose your people by your inspiration to the mysteries of the kingdom both that which you have granted to work in my life and that which is accessible in this kingdom lord i pray that much more than the hearing of the ear may the word be sent to the destinies of your people in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now that an unusual grace for the secret place an unusual grace for retreats an unusual grace to spend time alone with god let it be released to your life let there be a restoration of your first love for god a restoration of your passion for prayer revival in your life 
if you once walked in any dimension of grace and the anointing and for some reason it has gone down i pray for you that from tonight let the ambers let the let let the coals of the spiritual fire within your life be set back ablaze in the name of jesus and i'm praying this prayer for you this prayer of secrets lord we dedicate this week from now till the next koinonia meeting on friday lord let men beginning from tonight may they see and hear strange things about their destiny for many of you i declare strange angelic encounters they will come to your room they will come on your bed they will come to your ears some of you will continue koinonia in your dreams god will use my face to speak mysteries to you answer puzzles in your life business mysteries be unveiled leadership mysteries be unveiled ministerial mysteries be unveiled the secret to the new dimension of relevance be released to you the secret to dislodge the powers that fight your family may they be revealed to you in dreams and visions hallelujah lord let it be by the spirit of the living god let everyone who came for tonight's meeting be introduced to very deep encounters in the name of jesus christ please don't miss next week's meeting you're here for the first time okay let's let's do the altar call keep standing everyone there are people here we're not even talking of the secret place there are people here in the main auditorium the overflows and so many watching online you are here and just like we emphasized the starting point of any believer's journey is an encounter with Jesus. You are here and you are saying, man of God, I cannot say for sure that I am in Christ right now. Seated or standing where I am. And there are others saying, man of God, I love the Lord with all my heart. But for some reason, the way my life has gone, I need your mercy and I need your help, oh Lord. Wherever you are, we, we have just two minutes for that. that. Please leave your seat very boldly. And come and meet me here in front i want to pray for you it will be my pleasure to lead you to jesus aside from overflow three that i'll just request to walk to the front of your projector stand those in overflow one and two outside and in the main bowl here you are giving your life to jesus christ rededicating your life wherever you are walk to the front now god bless you people are coming let's appreciate them koinonia don't sit back when you should come out don't sit back when you should come out god bless you someone has to be answering this call you're saying apostle thank you for making this decision i've been waiting for someone to make this decision make your way to the front keep standing you don't have to kneel god bless you god bless you god bless you if you're coming please double up quickly quickly can god give me a new beginning apostle absolutely make your way to the front this is a place where you obtain his mercy and his grace to help in time of need hallelujah if you're joining them please come very quickly i'm about to pray i'm about to pray if you're coming come quickly those coming from outside please clear the way for them you're coming come very quickly those of you standing here i congratulate you thank you for your courage and everything lift your right hand and say after me very boldly and seriously please mean it from your heart you're not just reciting a poem jesus is here say lord jesus say it again lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I come before you just as I am I declare that I receive you as my Lord and my Savior the power of Satan of sin of hell is broken forever over my life and the life of God is mine today I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life in Jesus name keep your hands lifted Lord I thank you for these precious brothers and sisters 
they have responded to your call and they have come truthfully from their hearts lord i pray that you accept these precious ones those who are rededicating their lives those who are handing their lives over to you for the first time lord we desire that they be planted that they flourish that they excel i pray in the name of jesus christ that you receive them and by your spirit transform them into supernatural people in the name of jesus christ i declare that from today the power of god is resident within your life and you begin to hunger after spiritual things in the name of jesus amen and amen congratulations please follow the lady waving her hands there's a lady waving her hands all of you please in concert just follow the gentleman and the lady waving their hands there will be a group of people to receive you god bless you let's honor them as they go thank you thank you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.